Some of you had a few doubts and questions when I previously uploaded this video, such as image sequence rendering and how to play them back in Blender. So I've re-uploaded this video and added explanations for those areas. Hope this helps you better and clears them up. You must have recently come across videos like these, of large screens which play videos, but create an illusion of a 3D world inside them. These are called anamorphic displays, since the illusion they create is called anamorphism. Like this. In this video I'll show you how you can render out your own videos, which create these 3D anamorphic illusions, using Blender. The first step before you jump into Blender is to figure out these calculations. The exact dimensions of your screen. The height at which the screen is, from the ground. And the ideal position from where the viewer can get the best effect of the illusion. Let's begin our modeling process. In my case, I've taken the screen width on both sides as 6 meters and the height as 4 meters. The bottom of the screen is at 5 meters from the ground. I'm going to create a base for it to sit on and also give the screen some curve on the edge. If yours has one, make sure the radius matches that of the actual screen. Now let's place the viewer camera, the ideal position that I mentioned. I've kept it at a distance of 20 by 20 in the diagonal direction of the screen, and 2 meters high assuming human eye position. Make sure to set the focal length at 100 mm, as this is the setting at which the video will be captured. Now tilt your camera in the diagonal angle to look directly at the screen, such that the screen completely fits into your view and fills most of the space. Next, let's select these front faces and separate them into a different object. This will be our screen. From the original mesh, I'll remove this front section and create my 3D space. This is where I'll place my actual content and render it out. Now I'm going to set up my main 3D content with lights and materials. So here's a simple scene I've set up of a 3D model which I got from Sketchfab. Link for the model will be in the description. I've given it a simple rotating animation, and this will be rendered out. As a test I'm going to render out one frame so that I can set up my screen and its UVs, to play the final video on it. Let's bring the screen to its original place now. I'll place it in a screen collection, and the content in another collection, so that I can turn it off for now. These next steps will be important to set up our screen, such that it plays exactly what our camera is seeing, and from that ideal angle to create the anamorphic effect. The first step is to give the screen a UV project modifier. You'll see how it works in a sec. Select the UV of the screen for the UV map. You don't have to worry about setting up the UVs, because this modifier will do it for you. Under the object, select your camera which is rendering the 3D content, Now place the render you took earlier in the diffuse, and it should correctly match the viewing angle and visuals of the 3D content. As you can see, the image is stretched in one direction. This is because our camera's aspect ratio is 1 to 1.69. We need to set the same in the modifier. And there, it's fixed. You can set the material properties to be more like a screen display, without any shine on the screen. Now you have this 2D screen which is creating the effect of a 3D space, just like we wanted. Make sure to add some edge loops to the screen, as without it your video will be slightly distorted. Now the last step is to actually get the video output, 
which you can play on the real curved screen that you have. We can't render that from our current camera since, obviously, we can't play this on the screen. We need to record a distorted video in a rectangular format, which when wrapped on a screen, will play with the correct effect. So let's do that. Before we move ahead, remember that earlier we only took out a single render image as a test. But we actually need an image sequence of our animation. For that, first render out your image sequence and save it on your PC. Next, we'll bring in this image sequence into Blender and play it on our screen mesh. In the shader editor of your screen, add an image texture node to the diffuse of your shader. Click, open, and go to the folder with your image sequence. Press A to select all images, and click, open image. Click the node and press N to open its properties, and then hit the refresh button to get the correct frame number. Also enable Cyclic and Auto Refresh. Now when you hit space, the video should play on your screen. Now we can continue with the rest of the steps. I'll make a duplicate of this screen, and open it up and unfold it flat, such that it's in a rectangular aspect. Before you unfold, apply the modifier, else the UVs created by the modifier won't be applied. In the UV editing tab, you'll see how the modifier has accurately matched the screen UVs to the content region of our render. This was the main purpose of using this modifier. Now I'm going to bring this new screen a bit forward, and the old one which still has the modifier, back to its original place. Add a shape key to this new screen, and then with the key selected, go to the edit mode and unfold it. Make sure you rotate it open instead of simply scaling it flat. We need to open it flat like a piece of paper. Try and do this as accurately as you can. Set the key value to 1, and you'll see the distorted output I was talking about. This rectangular plane is what will now record in Eevee to get our final video output. Set up a new camera in front of it, and set its resolution such that the plane completely fits into the camera view. Once set, when you hit play, you'll see the video play on this screen. When you take a render, you'll see something like this. Now finally, take a video render in MP4 format as I've shown here, with the second camera. This will be the final video that will be played on your actual physical billboard. This is what your final distorted video should look like, and this is what will play on the actual billboard. Hope this was helpful to you and you can use it to create your anamorphic illusion videos. Like this video if you enjoyed it and subscribe if you wish to see more. This Blender project file will be available to download on my Patreon, if you wish to test out and play with it. Along with this a lot of other content, which is regularly updated, is available to patrons. You can check out the various benefits of each Patreon tier from the link I've placed below. Thanks. See you soon.